Sarah is so incredibly smart. She knows that once when Flippy is in a rabbit hat, and then Sarah knows she may go outside because they cannot go outside together. They will fight. But Sarah, she she knows it at once, and then she goes to you know she she starts fighting the bars of a pen, and then I can you know let her outside. She really knows what she wants. Sarah really you know she has a strong character. So now she's outside of the pen, but actually I need to brush her because it's molting season. All of my bunnies have started molting. I'm really finding piles of hair inside the house. It's everywhere. It's on me. It's on plates. It's in my food. It's, you know, in my mouth, in my nose. So it's really, it's really bad, especially with four rabbits. That's, that's huge, you know. So I'm going to have to brush my rabbits because otherwise they can ingest uh, the loose fur. And that's really bad because then they can get into GI stasis and rabbits can die from that. So I usually brush my rabbits outside, but you know, it was raining about half an hour ago and there's still more rain to come. So I'm not sure if I'm going to brush them outside. But my rabbits know this area so well that if I start brushing them here, they will try to get away. They will probably, you know, fight or something. Well, not actually fight, but especially Sarah, she's very strong. Uh, maybe she already knows what's going to happen. Uh, Sarah. Sarah is still a bit wet. Yeah? Hmm. Are you still a bit wet from the rain? It's your own fault because you were, you're the one who went outside, right? So I was thinking maybe I could, you know, make some construction in the house somewhere that's high. Maybe I can use the kitchen. Maybe I can put Sarah here. But I also need a lot of light because maybe I'm going to cut the nails too. But this is something she doesn't know. And when a rabbit doesn't know the area, then... You know, it's less likely that he or she will try to escape and that's of course much safer. Before starting, I'm going to clean the countertop because otherwise when one of the rabbits is trying to escape, he or she might, you know, <laughs> throw something off the countertop onto the floor. So that's a bit dangerous and I also don't want to have my things broken or something. So I'm going to make it as safe as possible. <laughs> So everything is ready for the first victim. I put the little blankets on the countertop and I put ready all the things I need so I don't have to walk away to get them. The first tip I can give you when you're going to groom your bunny is to try and stay calm yourself. And I know this can be really difficult because cutting nails and you know picking up your bunny, brushing your bunny, it can be you know scary. You don't want to hurt your bunny. You know, your rabbit can try to get away. So try to stay calm yourself because rabbits are very sensitive creatures. They will know it at once when you're nervous or scared and they will react to it. They will probably try to get away because they sense danger or something. So, you know, try to, you know, breathe slowly before you start. Stay calm, don't be scared. Just, you know, start. And I know that can be difficult. Sarah absolutely hates me right now. She was trying to bite me. She actually bit me in my arm, but because I'm wearing a vest, there wasn't blood or anything. I think it was more like nipping. She was trying to tell me <laughs> that she doesn't want this. She wanted to get away. And she's really upset now, the poor baby. She's, you know, breathing fast and such. So I'm going to finish 
I'm not going to cut her nails today because she's upset. And, you know, I'm not really comfortable today either. I think, you know, I'm tired and we're not in the usual space. You know, usually I take her outside on the platform. So I'm not really feeling comfortable enough to cut her nails right now. Because I don't want her to jump away while I'm cutting or something. Ah, Poor baby. Mama is going to put you down. Well, put you down. <laughs> I'm going to put you back onto the floor. Yes? And do you want something tasty then? Something as a reward? Not for biting, but being, you know... Actually, it's more of a comfort food, you know? Mm. I love you. So this is the amount of fur I got from Sarah. It's quite a lot already. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to brush all of my bunnies in these few days. I'm going to save their fur so we can see how much fur, you know, comes from four bunnies <laughs> who are molting. And then I'm going to give it to the birds outside because right now the birds are nesting and they like to use this fur for their birds' nests and the little, you know, the chicks can, you know, be born in such soft nests so that's very cute and i like to watch the birds taking the fur and flying away with it Brushing your bunny, it's very important to be gentle and careful because the rabbit skin is very sensitive and we don't want to pull the hair out of the skin, but we want to remove the loose fur. So why are rabbits molting? Well, of course, a rabbit usually lives in a climate with different temperatures. So of course, we have the seasons. So we have warm periods, we have cold periods. Of course, rabbits are not the same as humans. I mean, we can take off our coats, our clothes and such, but rabbits, of course, cannot do that. They have this furry coat and they get, can get very warm and overheated quickly. So of course when the season is getting warmer, they have to, you know, shed their fur and they get a summer coat. And when the season is getting colder, like in fall and winter, they are uh, growing a winter coat and they are shedding a summer coat. So this helps them to regulate their temperature and to, you know, to stay comfortable. And especially when your rabbit is living outdoors, he needs a really thick coat to survive winter. So depending on your location, you have usually two big molting periods every year. One in spring and one in fall. But there are usually also two periods in between which are you know, smaller molting periods. A molting period usually takes around two to six weeks, depending on your rabbit. Some rabbits shed their fur almost all at once, so it's like an explosion of loose fur, whereas others take a long time to, you know, get from one fur to the other coat. And maybe you've noticed that when your rabbit is shedding, it usually starts on the forehead and it goes like this to the back and then to the sides and the flanks and eventually to the butt. Of course, all rabbits are different. So maybe your rabbit has a different shedding pattern. Maybe your rabbit is shedding everywhere at once. That can happen as well. So then usually there's nothing wrong with your rabbit. And you may also see a clear line between the old coat and the new coat. So when your rabbit is molting, of course it's very important to monitor your rabbit because you know it can be dangerous when your rabbit ingests a lot of fur especially when your rabbit stops eating or starts eating less food you know it can be a sign that something is really wrong maybe your rabbit is getting into GI stasis and then you have to go to the vet immediately you can help your rabbit get through this period by giving him a lot of hay and maybe when you have 
access to grass your rabbit can hop around the grass because that's also very good for him aside from that it's important to monitor the poops of your rabbits because when the poops are getting very small and hard it can be a sign of beginning gi stasis and also when you see a lot of you know stringed poops that i mean like beads you see for instance two or three poop and in between there's like hair <laughs> so it's like a string and that's also a sign your rabbit is ingesting hair when you're brushing your bunny it's of course important to use the right tool so i'm using this comb it's like a, a flea comb and i've used a hack of lend the bunny so as you can see i've put a rubber band between the teeth of this comb and the rubber band makes sure that when I'm using it to brush the bunny, the fur, you know, gets, it's kind of sticks to the, to the rubber band and then I can pull it out. But I have to do it really gently. And also this comb is getting really old because now this is something I have to pay attention to. You can see that these teeth are getting, you know, they are sticking out a bit. So this can be... You know, this can prick your rabbit in the skin. So I'm really, really careful right now, but I'm going to buy a new one because I'm not very comfortable with this anymore. So make sure your comb is still in good shape. And also this is not sponsored, but there's a, a comb like this on the market, but then it's made especially for shedding animals. And the comb is called the Hair Buster and you can uh, buy it on Amazon, maybe in different stores. Just look online and search for Hair Buster and you may find it. So that may be a good thing to have too. So maybe that's the one I'm going to buy. I'm not sure yet because it's quite expensive but it may be worth it and it's also a bit bigger. Also when you are petting your rabbits you may find some loose hair in the fur like these. You know you can see these plucks and you really want to pull them out of course i mean that's that's very satisfying and i sometimes do that when i see these plucks i pluck them out while i'm petting them but you have to be careful and gentle because if you do this too much at once your rabbit may get bold spots So I'm halfway brushing all of my bunnies and as you can see the bucket is already, well, it's more than half full. Of course, when I squeeze it together it's less, but there's going to be more hair. So let's see what happens when I brush Poppy and Silver. brushing a lion head bunny it's important to be very gentle with the manes because these are very sensitive the manes are very long and they can have a lot of tangle so please be gentle it's best to hold your hand onto the top of the mane so you don't really pull at the hair so this is the harvest of bunny hair i have right now as you can see when I don't squeeze it together it's a full cup so I'm going to give this fur to the birds and I'm going to put all of this in some kind of bird feeding device oh there's hair everywhere it's it's oh it's everywhere it's uh, it's on the countertop it's all around the kitchen it's on my camera it's on me but like I said I'm going to give this to the birds and my shirt is completely full of bunny hair so I'm also going to use uh, some sort of hair removal thingy <laughs> to clean my shirt because I kind of look like a bunny myself right now. Mm -hmm. 
bunnies have been brushed and they are looking great right now really like they're going to a party but how can you keep your bunny that way well some people say it's best to brush your bunny every day when they are molting but in my case my bunnies get very stressed when i'm trying to brush them so i try to brush them every every few days depending on how much fur is getting loose i just look at my bunny and, and if I think well now it's really time to brush then I take them to brush them. Thank you so much for watching so if you have any experiences you'd like to share please tell them in the comments and if you don't want to miss any future videos you can subscribe to the channel and then we will see each other next time. Bye!